can you mentally solve these simultaneous equations in 10 seconds did you say no come on at least give it a try your time starts now your time is up the correct answer is x equal to 6 y equal to 2 let me first tell you the usual way of solving the simultaneous equations but before I do that let me give you a brief introduction of algebraic equations alright so anything that has an equal to sign is called an equation now equation has different parts the alphabets that you are seeing x and y they are known as variables all right this number that you are seeing here is known as a constant and this 2 and 3 that you are seeing are known as coefficients basically they are numbers that are put before the variables all right when there is no number put before a variable the coefficient is always 1 but we don't write 1 all right it is understood that it is 1 now let's see the usual way of solving the simultaneous equations now there are a couple of ways for solving simultaneous equations like elimination method substitution method I would be using elimination method to solve these equations the usual way basically in elimination method all we try to do is eliminate one variable out of the two variables like x and y so one variable would be eliminated how by making the coefficients equal all right so basically we cross multiply the coefficients all right so the coefficient of this x is 2 so I multiply this 2 here and the coefficient of this x is 1 so I put 1 here so let's put these equations here so 2 times x is 2x 2 times 2y is 4y and 2 times 10 is 20 all right and multiply this equation with 1 so it would be 2x plus 3y equal to 18 now to eliminate you need to subtract so change the sign this is the standard procedure all right so 2x minus 2x will cancel out so 0 will come here 4y minus 3y is 1y so I put y here now 20 minus 18 is 2 so we have found out the value of y now put this value of y in any of these two equations to get the value of x all right so I put the value of y here so I would get a new equation x plus 2 times 2 isn't it because this y will become 2 so it will become 4 equal to 10 all right now subtract 4 from both the sides so minus 4 here minus 4 here so this thing gets eliminated and you get x equal to 6 and that is what the answer is x equal to 6 y equal to 2 as you have just seen this usual way is indeed very long and it will require a lot of skill and talent to be able to do mentally with this method you can give it a try but wait there is a better way of doing it now to find the value of x all you need to do is multiply this number with this number like this and then subtract from it the product of this number and this number so 2 times 18 is 36 minus 3 times 10 is 30 all right now this is the numerator okay now let's find the denominator as well now to find the denominator all you need to do is multiply this number again with this number like this so 2 times 2 is 4 and subtract from it the product of this number and this number so there is no number there so it is 1 so 1 times 3 is 3 isn't it so the answer is 36 minus 30 is 6 and 4 minus 3 is 1 6 over 1 is nothing but 6 so x equal to 6 now once you have the value of one variable finding the other variable is very easy all right so now substitute this value in 
any of these two equations. So, you know that this x is 6, is not it? Now, 6 plus something equal to 10. So, you know that 6 plus 4 equal to 10 and 2 times what equal to 4? So, 2 times 2 equal to 4. So, y equal to 2. That is what your answer is. You can do this mentally. Okay. So, let us do it again and this time mentally. So, to find x, all you need to do is multiply this with this. So, 2 times 18 is 36 and then subtract from it the product of this and this. 3 times 10 is 30. 36 minus 30 is 6, is not it? Alright. Now, to find the denominator, all you need to do is multiply this with this. So, 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So, x equal to 6, is not it? Now, to find y, just substitute the value of x in one of these two equations. So, now you have this x as 6. So, 6 plus something equal to 10, is not it? So, you know that 6 plus 4 equal to 10 and 2 times what equal to 4? 2 times 2 equal to 4. So, y equal to 2. As simple as that. Okay. So, now let us solve this using the crisscross technique of solving equations. Again, to find the value of x, all you need to do is multiply this 2 with 11 and then subtract the product of this 3 and 7, is not it? So, 2 11 times is 22 minus 3 7 times is 21, 22 minus 21 is 1, is not it? This is the numerator, what would denominator be? 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 times 3 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, so x is 1 here. Now, once you have the value of one variable, finding the other variable is very simple, is not it? Now, substitute this value of x in any of these two equations. So, I will prefer this equation. So, I will put 1 here. Alright. Now, you know that 1 plus something equal to 7. So, you know that it is 6. 1 plus 6 equal to 7. So, 2 times what equal to 6? 2 times 3 equal to 6. So, y equal to 3. And there you have solved the equation. Now, isn't that easy? In fact, algebra is the easiest branch of mathematics. So, x equal to 9 times 11 is 99 and 2 times 47 is 94 9 and 99 minus 94 is 5. This is the numerator. To find the denominator, 9 times 1 is and 4 times 2 is 8 and 9 minus 8 is 1. So, x equal to 5. Now, once you have this x, so put it in any of these two equations. This one would be much better. So, put it here. Now, this is 5. So, 5 plus what equal to 11? You know that 5 plus 6 equal to 11. So, 2 how many times is 6? 2, 3 times is 6. So, y equal to 3. That is your answer. x equal to 5, y equal to 3.